<gasps> my camera's gonna die already. Uh. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I know it's been so long, I'm so sorry. Uh, I fell off the radar on YouTube for a little bit and I've been kind of MIA on all of my social media platforms. I do post, I've been posting on my Instagram story actually for the past like two weeks. I think on a daily basis maybe I'm like slowly picking it up again so yeah I just I was like I need to film already because I think like every week I was like I'm gonna go back on YouTube already I'm gonna go back on YouTube I'm gonna go back on YouTube and then I I kept I would keep saying next week next week by the way my nails are super ugly right now I'm gonna do them probably today or tomorrow but in case in case you notice uh, so yeah, I kept saying every week that I was gonna get back on it and it's just something would always happen and I was just full of excuses if I'm being honest. I could have came back some time ago, but I was just I didn't feel ready yet, but I feel ready now. I'm like I was telling my boyfriend I was like I can't like do this again. I keep falling off the radar and I'm sorry I'm sorry to you guys because I know a lot of you or some of you um, do love to keep up with me So I'm sorry that I keep doing this to you guys, but I am really hoping that you know what let's speak it into Existence let's put it out in the universe. I'm not going to go in my anymore I'm gonna be on here and I'm gonna be posting my life with you guys forever <laughs> so um, yeah I just wanted to check in because I have a few videos already that I have um, that I'm going to be planning for you guys beside this one this one was just me um, it's just me telling y'all that I'm back on here and that you know I'm still alive and yeah that's that's what this video is about a little life update also i think the last time i had came on here i should have checked which one was my latest video i did a video where i did like the moving out part and i gifted my parents like this cute little you know going away gift even though we're literally like five minutes from each other um it was just a very emotional time for me and i was I was editing it. I, I'm sorry. I was editing it, you guys, and I was being such a chiona that I was like, I can't post this. Like, that's embarrassing. This 30 year old woman freaking crying because she's leaving her parents. <sighs> like, I don't care. I don't care that I cried. It's just, um, I think because I took too long to edit the video that me talking throughout the whole video even before I was crying it was just like cringe to me that I was just like I don't want to post this <laughs> I'm just gonna you know do a, a, a new video or whatever and yeah here we are so um, I had done a cute video a cute little giveaway for them and or going away present whatever but I am settled in finally I am settled in okay uh, a lot I feel like a lot did get in the way for me to post again one just the moving in general was a lot uh, I hate moving and I hope that I don't have to do it anytime soon again because I I just feel like I've moved so much my whole life since I was little we would move from apartment to apartment until we finally got our home and we I think we didn't move for like a good 13 years but after that we were constantly moving again because we moved to Bakersfield and then we lasted in our first in our first house for like I think a year or two two years and then we moved to a smaller house because I had told my parents that you know eventually I was gonna move and they didn't want to be stuck with the big ass house and it was just I'm done I'm over it. I moved to my apartment and then now I moved again like I moved back home and then I moved ugh, I'm so over it I'm over it but I hope I don't have to move again anytime soon I know I haven't shared with you guys my place, but I will. The last time I checked in with you guys, I also told you guys that I had gone to the doctors. Some things didn't come out normal, so I was trying to, you know, just focus on me, take care of myself. I, I, oh, I remember a video that I, that I did. I mentioned that I was dropping alcohol. That's what it was. Um, so yeah, I, I said I wasn't gonna drink anymore. Uh, I have drank, but significantly less and when I say significantly it's like out of the hundred percent that I was drinking I'm drinking like at a five percent because I was one to drink every single weekend um, any occasion there's alcohol uh, in the last four months it's been four months already since I did my first blood work 
uh i've drank like three a total of three times and not even drank like to get drunk it was just i enjoyed one or two drinks one to two drinks um just because i was just craving it at the moment but i've been loving the no drinking part because i've been feeling more energized a little more energized i've been feeling just like my week is not ruined because of alcohol i feel like i would drink all weekend and then wake up through that like on monday and it would just ruin my week so i've been really loving that side of it i did have blood work done again because also my vitamin d came out really low my cholesterol came out high so thankfully uh my cholesterol is back to normal my my vitamin d is still low but it's higher from the last time i think i was like at a 10 and this time i was like at a 24. so the doctor still uh prescribed me some vitamins even though i could pick them up over the counter and i already had some to be honest i just am such a forgetful person that i would not take them but i've been take, taking them now because i'm like okay now i understand why everything's happening to me like i've been because honestly the doctor that i have it just feels good to be talking to you guys again. I'm sorry if like I ramble off. I just it's you know It's been two months. So bear with me. I have a lot to share um, So yeah, I already had the vitamins uh, I just didn't really take them. So I'm taking the ones that he prescribed this doctor sucks if I'm being honest another reason why I had stopped I had already uh, Set it as a goal of mine to stop drinking this year as much as I was drinking last year, right? Uh, so this was my goal already that I had set for the new year. So my liver came out abnormal. It came out abnormal again. And all this doctor had to tell me was, we'll have you tested again in three months and we'll see. We'll go from there. So to me, it was like, okay, well, if I already made the change, because he specifically told me also to not be drinking um, for these next three months until I got tested again. So I was like, if I already made that change and there was no you know difference or just i don't know how long it takes again but he didn't he didn't give me any explanation or anything to come for me it was just uh like we'll follow up again so to me it's like well what am i supposed to do if i've already i'm already not drinking for the most part so he didn't give me any peace of mind he was just like we'll look into it again in three months so i am going to have to go out of my way to figure out what i need to do exactly um just more like natural remedies you know to hopefully heal my liver or whatever it's going on whatever is going on with it not me over here i'm not trying to like get you guys to tell me how to fix myself you know but it's just i'm just sharing i'm just sharing like what's been happening I'm drinking a Celsius, by the way. Every time I have one of these, um, like say whenever I go to my parents, I was like, yes, that's the one though. And I'm like, mom, it's a Celsius. I think to this day she thinks it's a white cloth, but it's a Celsius. They're really good. I just really like them. So yeah, um, I don't know how much I weigh. Also, I, um. Uh, when I went to the doctors, I was like, do not tell me how much I weigh. I'm avoiding the scale, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but the doctor did con congratulate me because he said that I had dropped 10 pounds from the last time I went. And I have honestly have not been like on a strict diet or anything. I think I have my waves where like I'll get used to eating out. More at the beginning, um, it was just hard because of the, the moving and um, getting settled in. It was hard to, you know, actually go grocery shopping and have meal meals planned but uh i finally have been sticking to meal planning for about like a little over a month now and it's so much better because i i did mention that one of the reasons that it was hard to live at home was also because of all the temptation that i was around with does that make sense all the temptation i was around in uh i don't know i don't know y'all get me so yeah i it was tough because there was always some sort of food being ordered whether it was me whether it was the parents whether it was my sister it was just hard it was hard to stick to a a healthy meal plan which is what i was trying to do um when not everyone's on the same page so now that i um uh, moved out i get to control what i eat which is awesome 
and um, I've been doing pretty good for at least I think it's been close to two months now if I'm not mistaken where I've been grocery shopping meal um, meal planning cooking and uh, I still enjoy the weekends freely like if I'm out if I go to somewhere which honestly if I think I barely had something this past weekend other than that thankfully I don't think there's been anything big other than with my family which the ones that I'm usually around with but and I say thankfully because I've been becoming such a homebody I just I I feel like <sighs> there's just so much to say I hope I don't like blabber on for too long but I for some time now have been feeling so tired and just so not in the mood to be going out and I just want to be home and it's just uh, I I have learned that when you're low on vitamin D um, it does cause a lot of these problems like I've been tired all the time and I couldn't I couldn't understand why I've normally always been such a active busy person since I started working at age 13 okay I started working at age 13 so I just found it weird that I just felt like I would do something for an hour or two or just any minimal activity and I would just feel exhausted and I am learning that uh when you're a uh, low on vitamin d that's something that um that happens you get tired all the time you're tired all the time low back pain which is oh my god i haven't had my back pain last this long ever i think the lo the longest I had lasted me was when i got sick with covid early this year now i think because of the moving i caused a lot of stress on my back and um I had to take literally like I had to bed rest because of how bad it was hurting and after that I feel better now but it's still there I'm just living with it now so uh, I did see that that can also be something due to vitamin D being low in vitamin D even though I just have a mess up back but it just explains a lot so I'm hoping that with me being more consistent on taking my vitamin D my vitamin D <laughs> what am I saying my vitamins um I am hopefully able to just get all this energy back and be able to do what I need to do without feeling tired all the time and just find the the motivation and all of that so yeah uh, I've been working out I have not dropped that I have thankfully been able to stick to that habit um, I'm just taking it one day at a time I'm not forcing myself to um, lose any weight it i just whatever comes off naturally because i'm eating what i want and just be more careful on what i put on my body just because i'm i am trying to be healthy because of the things that came out um bad on my blood tests or low or high or too high whatever but other than that i'm just working out and not like keeping track of it as i used to i feel like it feels better this way I guess so yeah um, I'm excited because I'm gonna be back on here I'm gonna be posting more on Instagram and TikTok. it's just hard to like keep up with all the social media platforms you know but I'm gonna do it I have um, been seeing how I can you know work by making certain videos to be able to like post on every social media platform without like overworking myself but it's gonna get done so um if you're here watching if you're still keeping up with me thank you very much thank you for being here uh you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me this time around i promise i promise i'm here to stay okay so my camera died sorry i don't even know where i was at okay so as i was saying i've just i for some time now i was just not feeling myself just been feeling like tired all the time lack of motivation which is why i had my blood work done i was like this is not normal for me there's something wrong with me and i don't know how long i i had not been to the doctor for some time now so I, I honestly don't know how long my vitamin d had been low for but uh since uh covid happened i pretty much been indoors a lot more now so i'm pretty sure that's around the time it happened i was losing a lot of hair I still am or I don't know I get confused too because um, I only wash my hair probably like once or twice a week too so 
I'm over here wondering is this all build up from the daily hair you know that I'm supposed to be losing or is should I be concerned so I know that's another um, thing that could happen if you have low vitamin D is hair loss FYI so hopefully I start seeing less as I'm starting to take these vitamins consistently now and catching more sun hopefully i don't know i'm just indoor all the time you guys so especially with this bakersfield heat i don't even want to be outside it's it's crazy it's crazy but uh aside from me feeling tired all the time i think there was just so many changes done to myself that i started to not feel like myself it was like changes that i had to accept uh, for example, I got my boobs done. Uh, if you've been following me for some time now, you know that I got a breast lift and um, I got implants. So uh, I am very satisfied with the results. So it's not like it affected me, but it's something that it's it is something different with my body that I had to accept. And uh, my hair was damaged, so. I feel like to a lot of us our hair is everything and even though honestly when it was damaged I didn't make such a huge deal about it because to me it was like it's hair it's gonna grow back um, it did still affect me to some point because I had to change my whole image pretty much of what I how I would get ready you know like for some time I had to do wigs because my hair was super short uh for some time i it's just it was not I, I was not able to style my hair the way that i liked to style it which was me having blonde hair and straightening it and curling it and having it short um i because of my hair damage i did have to start letting it uh which it's gotten a lot of length i don't want to show too much down here you know but it's gotten a lot of length um it's super healthy now and i'm super happy with it but if i'm being honest i i miss my blonde hair i loved my blonde hair i love my short blonde hair i started rock, rocking it short because of the bakersfield heat and um i fell in love with it so now that i'm i'm still kind of accepting my natural curly hair just because it had been gone for so long since like middle school i started straining it and it's just something different that I had to accept. So for some time, I haven't been feeling myself. I did gain a lot of weight also. Uh, I had lost a lot of weight and then I gained it back. It just really affected me, I feel like. It just affected how I saw myself. And I think a lot of the times I do avoid po posting because I'm just like, I don't want to hear it from other people. Like I already know myself that I look different or you know that I gained weight or whatever the case is and I don't want to hear from other people when I'm feeling down myself but with that being said I am practicing to just have more self-love and accept myself for who I am because although there's times that I miss my blonde hair I also do love my natural hair like now that I have this all of this going I'm just like it's so beautiful but there's those moments that I still do miss how i looked with my blonde short hair so that's just what i've been feeling like it's just it's just been my life you know i feel like i think about a lot of things a lot but i'm seeing myself with the camera and i'm just like it looks good i look good my skin's glowing like i look good but we all have those moments so stop thinking negative stop I, I feel like I'm getting there, but I'm not fully there yet. I feel like with so many years of damage, of constantly beating yourself and talking so negative, negatively to yourself or about yourself, it's, it's a lot of like reverse damage. It's a lot of like, you have to do a lot of work to heal that and to no longer see yourself that way so i do practice on like if i have a negative thought you know to replace it with a positive one and tell myself that i am doing great and i'm trying the best that i can and i will get to wherever i want to get to it's just gonna take some time so 
that's all i'm gonna say for today because i've clearly been talking for too long now but i missed you guys i'm so glad that i'm here again and show me some love and some support in the comment section i will have um videos coming out to you i am going to try to stick to the usual with which the usual from before which was i believe one to two videos a week i don't want to overwhelm myself too much either because i do want to be posting a lot on my other my other social media platforms i just gotta figure out a schedule you know so uh, i mean i kind of know what i need to do already you know it's just doing it um i don't even know what i was saying but Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end the video on that note. And I will see you guys on my next video. Which will be, hopefully, it's not going to be the house tour yet. I'll post, I have another video that I want to post for you guys before that one. So keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. I think I said it right. I don't know why I'm like correcting myself. Keep an eye out for it. And then after that one, I do want to show you guys what my new place looked like before and what it looks like now because there was some remodeling kind of that was done it just it looked a lot different from what it was at the beginning so i'm excited to show you guys some before and after pictures because i do have before and after um i don't know if it's videos or pictures i know i did either or um and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on the next video love you guys whistles